Hello everybody, this is Jeremy and today I'll be talking about how to deal with noise and sharpening. So um, quite a lot of people feel like, well, to be honest, I think five years ago people were still thinking that doing noise reductions and sharpening, we should need a third party program to do so. But Adobe would be, have been so advanced with their software now that, to be honest, when you're dealing with noise and sharpening, you can actually do it in Camera Raw Converter now. So I'm going to show you little tips here and there and how we can achieve that. I actually do all my noise reductions and sharpening in Camera Raw at this point because it's just that good. So here's an image here we shot in um, Paris in front of the Louvre at nighttime. Yeah, you can only shot that at nighttime because there was too many people in the daytime to able to achieve something like this. Also at nighttime, because of the light lit up, it looks way better. Now, if you can tell that from the spec, this is from a 2.8, 180, and ISO 2500 to able to achieve this look with a flash, of course. Um, but if we zoom in, you see noise up quite a lot there. Okay, actually, let me take that down. So that's how it originally looked like when there's nothing applied from a raw image. Raw image, yes. Meaning that none of those camera effects actually apply onto the image at all. It's as is how the camera captures it. Okay, so noise, color noise, luminous noise is everywhere. So let's take a look. So one thing we gonna do is basically put color noise to you know something like that. You see how the noise is gone? Let's look at that again. Color noise gone, just like that, right? Once the color noise is gone, it looks much better. Most of the time, this is D4, it's gone. I just kind of tweak it down so you can see the differences. The next thing I'm going to zoom in a little bit more to get with some of the luminous noise. See how that works? Looks pretty good. I'm just do a little bit of contrast here. Because most of the time, then when you remove noise, it sharpens the image. That's why we have sharpened it. But when you sharpen, here's a trick. Click Alt to slide. Then it will turn the image preview into black and white. So you can focus on the edges. Make sure you sharpen it. Just like that. But have you noticed when you sharpen, the noise does come back. You actually sharpen the noise as well. And this is where the mask comes in. Auto also puts Alt and slide. You see how it become a mask? You want to slide all the way until all the stuff that you don't want the noise to come back become black. Only that a white area will get sharpened. That sounds about right there. Okay. So let's take a look before and after. That's without the noise reduction. And that is with the noise reduction. Now, I think that's pretty good. I mean, look at this. Come back. It looks crystal clean. Just like that. You could do it in raw converter. Easy, right? So, until next time, I will do more of these type of tips. So, do follow me. Thank you. Again, I'm Jeremy. Bye bye.